What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here. We got some brand new figures. Actually, we had one brand new figure shown at Las Vegas Toy Con, and, you know, Ringside was there, Mattel was there, Bill McKenna was there, the leader of the Mattel design team for WWE action figures, and we got some close-up images of Elite Series 67 and 68, so I figured why not go ahead and show you guys. We'll start off with the first brand new figure, and the only brand new figure that I believe was shown, and that is this Elite Target exclusive Liv Morgan. I am not sure if this is going to be Elite Series 68, or whatever. I know that Alexander Wolf is 66, and then, you know, we have our Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund in Elite Series 63. We have Sensational Sherry in Elite 65, and, you know, Pete Dunn in Elite 64 at Target. I think this is the Target exclusive in either Elite Series 67 or 68. Regardless of the fact, this figure does look fantastic. The details on this are great, and um, I don't know. It just looks like a really well-done figure. I wish that, you know... Um, they made, you know, double-jointed knees, and, you know, they would make their women's figures um, just as good as they make their men's figures, but this is still a really nice figure. I think it's cool that we're getting this. I do like all the details. The face looks great. It looks just like Liv Morgan, and I'm excited for this release. This is really good stuff. Next up, guys, we just have an image of Elite Series 67 and 68 both on display. I have a feeling you guys know how we do. Um, I think that, you know, we'll go a while without a series, maybe two months or, you know, maybe a month and a half. We'll go without having any new figures released, and and then all of a sudden we'll get 67 and 68 back to back. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen with Elite Series 67 and 68. I could be wrong. That's just what I feel is going to happen. And then maybe we'll have another break before Elite Series 69 comes in. Because we don't even have images of 69. But I swear, I promise that Elite Series 67 and 68 are going to come in within a week or two apart. I, I don't know. I just feel it. Speaking of Elite Series 67, guys, this is the Chase variant Jeff Hardy. This These images come to us from All About Figures on Instagram. Really got a really good guy. He posts all kinds of WWE and other fi action figure news, so you guys follow him on Instagram. I wanted to give him credit for these images. Really good detailed image of Jeff Hardy here, and it confirms what I thought about the original, my original thoughts about this Jeff Hardy figure. Is I think the head scan is off. I don't have an up-close image of the regular Elite 67 series Jeff Hardy, you know, with the light blue and black sleeves. But this royal blue 4th of July U.S. champion style Jeff Hardy figure is, I don't know, it's like they they painted the head weird or something. I don't know. I think that when we get it in the hand, maybe I can repaint it or something to make it look even better. But um, I don't know. It just doesn't really look that much like Jeff Hardy. I mean, the scream looks good and everything, but I think repainting this thing is going to be really fun. So I'm definitely going to have to grab a couple of these to, you know, do like a, a regular, you know, normal face paint Jeff Hardy and then uh, fix the eyes or something. But this figure does look great. Next up, guys, we have Elite Series 68 Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman. This Braun Strowman figure, guys, just get it out of my face. I think it's cool we get an updated briefcase. Briefcase looks a bit light green or something, but I am happy we're getting the Money in the Bank briefcase. But this Braun Strowman figure is the exact same as Elite 52, Elite 58, the top talents, and everything in between. I just, I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of this figure. And we had Elite Series 62, didn't we? My God, we've gotten a lot of Braun Strowmans that just look identical. So I don't know what they're doing here. I think it would have been cool if it was shirtless at least. You know, use that big show torso or something. Roman Reigns looks good, even though it, I, I would have preferred maybe him get the Chase variant, maybe have his lime green vest, and then have this blue, black, and white vest. This is his SummerSlam attire, I do believe, where he finally captured the WWE Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar. But it's, you know, it's a standard Roman figure. All of his figures look great, and I don't know. I'm just not irritated about the Roman figures. The Braun Strowman is just, I don't know. It's just always the same. Even though Roman's is always the same. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I'm just sick of Braun Strowman altogether, but... Anyways, these these figures do look good for what they are, but I'm not very excited about Braun Strowman. Next, guys, we have two more Elite Series 68 figures. We have this Undertaker, which looks good. I'm I'm sort of, I don't know, I'm, I'm ready to see what the eyes look like. But the mask is totally inaccurate for Kane here. I, I don't know what they're doing on that. Um, besides that, the figure looks all right, but Daniel Bryan over there is looking good. He, he looks like Chuck Norris over there in his Seattle Seahawks gear. I am excited for that figure. We get the yes pointing hands, and th that figure looks great. I think that's probably the best figure in the entire set, if I'm being honest. I think that um, Undertaker's probably second, just because it's a little bit different than his other figures, but Roman and Braun look the same, and then King Mabel and Brie Bella. I don't know. I just I think Elite Series 68 is pretty weak, to be honest. Elite Series 67 is possibly one of the best sets ever, and then when you put Elite Series 68, it's Sort of a bummer, I guess, when you compare the two. But these figures do look solid. I am excited for them, especially Daniel Bryan. 
Um, nice guys, we have another image from All About Figures here with Velveteen Dream, Cedric Alexander, and the regular elite Jeff Hardy. You guys can see here, Velveteen Dream looks great. His shirt is cloth. We get the nice hands. We get the great face scan. I know you can't see it here, but Ringside did post some images, or somebody posted images of it. I remember seeing that. We get the glasses. Really great attire. I can't wait for Velveteen. Again, I think that Elite Series 67 is so strong. I love the entire set. The Jeff Hardy, Cedric, Velveteen, Shayna Baszler first time in the line, Randy Orton. Just a really good set, man. I, I cannot wait. And then that, not even to mention Rey Mysterio. I, I think this is just fantastic. I am so ready for Elite Series 67 to hit. We're going to be doing action figure surgery. We're going to be doing some great things with this set, and I cannot wait for it. It's so exciting to do. And I think this is going to be the best Randy Orton Elite that we've gotten so far. Just really great stuff, man. Just hurry up and come and stock Elite Series 67. We're all waiting on you. And the last images we're going to talk about here today, guys, are the ringside exclusive two pack Hardy Boys that I'm super duper excited for. These look great. These look absolutely terrific. We get the World Tag Titles. We get these new head scans. I know that Jeff was in that WrestleMania 35 Battle Pack with Edge, but uh, it's still a newer head scan. It's a repaint. It's got the true effects on it. Matt Hardy's looks incredible. I think it looks just like the boys. I am, I'm just super ready to see what they look like underneath the shirt. Are they going to be what they've always been in the regular Mattel line? Are they going to have like the, the tank top mold? Or are they going to have, you know, the Daniel Bryan mold? Or are they going to actually give them, you know, Matt Hardy is, usually gets the Bo Dallas torso or the Road Dog torso. And Jeff Hardy has gotten the Road Dog torso or Bo Dallas torso when he's been shirtless. His Elite 57 figure had the, the you know, that same torso. So I'm excited to see if it's going to be that painted black or if it's going to be just skin tone. What are we going to get? I'm, I'm ready ready to see what these things look like without the shirts on. That is something I'm excited about. Also, how removable is Jeff's necklace? I want to see if it's, you know, um, cut in half like Sasha Banks' necklaces are or if it's, you know, fully removable over the head. Whatever the case, I can't wait for it and these figures look great, but I'm pretty sure that about does it. I mean, besides some basic figures, Iron Sheik, that we saw uh, a few weeks back and um, just some retro figures. We had Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, Gold Dust, and somebody else. But um, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys. We saw Liv Morgan. We saw some better pictures of Elite 67 and 68. And uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys my thoughts on everything and show these things off to you guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.